What I'm going to show you now is some very basics on working with school wires. The first thing that you need to do is log into your landing page. Then find the school wires button, click on it, log in using, using your usual password. And then the first thing after you are logged in, scroll all the way to the bottom and click on Site Manager. Once you are logged in, you should see something that looks like this. Basically, what you do then is click on the top one, click on Welcome in Bio, type a few things in here, and after you type, go ahead and hit Save. And then what you can do is you can click up here to say View Website and see how everything looks. Click on the X then to get out. Then what you can do to get back to the other parts of the page is click right up here and now you can see the rest of the pages. Then once you have your welcome in bio, click on contact information and you can see the template is already there for you. So just go ahead and change the different spots here and add anything that you would like. Again, then you hit save. Then you can view the website to see how it looks. Hit the X to get out of that. And click on the bread trail crumb right up here. And then you can come down and type in your teaching schedule. Now I am going to attach with this a link where it shows all of your class names and we'd like you to all have consistent class names. So please use the names that are on the master schedule that I'm going to share with you. So after you type in the names, go ahead and hit save. Take a look at how it looks and click the X. And now we're going to go back to, uh, actually, we're going to go back to the workspace up here. But I just clicked on my name and that brought us up here. And we're going to put in a new page. And the best new page to use is the Flex page. And we're just going to call this Syllabus. And I'm going to hit Save. And now we have the Syllabus page. So I'm going to click here and it's completely blank, but we're going to add a couple of things to this. I'm going to click on the paper clip and I'm going to browse to where my file is kept. <clears throat> I'm going to choose my first syllabus, open, and then I'm going to click on continue. And here I can type the link as I want it to appear on the page. And the target really doesn't matter because if you insert a page such as an attachment, it's just going to download anyway. So as you can see, the word syllabus is now a link that's clickable. And I'm going to add my second one. I'm going to browse, open, continue, I'm going to call this syllabus two for my next class. Again, the target doesn't matter. I'm going to insert the file and now we have both syllabuses. But I want to change this text on the first one. If I just typed here, you can see the link doesn't follow the additional text. What you need to do is get into the word itself. I'm going to type another S space one 
come up here, just delete the S, and now I have a clickable, my whole line is clickable. I'm going to hit save, take a look at how it appears on my web page, click on syllabus, syllabus one, and you can see now it just wants to download it. So I'm going to get back into here. I've already hit save, and I'm going to show you one last way that you can add a, a syllabus. This is just slightly different. I'm going to go to a new page again. I'm going to click on flex page. I'm going to call this one syllabus text. I'm going to hit save. I'm going to open up the page where we're at. And this time, I'm just going to do a control V and paste the words to my syllabus that I've already copied from my Word document or whatever program you use to create it. I'm going to hit save, come up here and take a look at the web page, click on syllabus text, and there it appears. So now you have a couple of different options to insert your syllabus, and you have seen how to do some basic uploading and editing of your web page. If you have any questions, please let me know, and I will be more than glad to help you.